Hi friends, welcome back to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. Today we're going to make pesto and the reason we're going to make pesto is because the other day I was grocery shopping and I wanted to make a white pizza with pesto base and I was almost going to reach for a jar of store-bought pesto and I had to stop. I just couldn't do it because that stuff is just not as good as what you will make at home. And um, so I'm also not wearing any makeup today because um, one of my wonderful dogs, George, passed away today and I'm feeling kind of sad. But as usual, as I told you before, when I'm happy, I cook. When I'm sad, I cook. Um, and quite honestly, cooking is a lot better for you than eating when you are feeling sad or stressed. So join me in the kitchen, won't you? All right, so today we're going to make um, pesto, but I'm going to do it with arugula instead of basil. And let's see if you can just watch. I'm gonna just do this really quickly. So I've washed, and also I wanna show you, this is um, a bunch of um, mature, organic arugula. So I would like to encourage you not to buy the the box, the plastic box of um, baby arugula because quite honestly it doesn't taste as good as this. This stuff, and this is less expensive, this is $1.99 a bunch. I bought two bunches and it was, what was that, $4, right? And um, Look at this huge garlic clove. I'm going to use that. And uh, so anyways, I bought that. And um, instead of basil, because basil is pretty darn expensive, as you know. So I bought two bunches of um, arugula, and I love arugula. I just, this mature stuff has so much more flavor than the baby arugula. So please, as I said, buy arugula. Mature. Bunches. One big monstrous glow, clove of garlic, which I'll just give a little chop to. Just some, I'm just chunking it, see? Okay, throw that in there. And then also, another little difference is I'm going to use walnuts instead of uh, pine nuts. And walnuts are so darn healthy for you. And I am crazy about the way they taste. And this is going to be so fast and so easy. In the time it would take you to open a jar of pesto, you can make it yourself. Now, I'm also going to pour in this just a little bit, just a drizzle kind of get things going, okay? See? Look at that. I mean, could it be any faster? I think the answer is no. Look at that guy. He's staying out. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Okay. We need salt. Yes, this is a pepper mill. I'm using it as a salt mill because I have this wonderful pink Himalayan salt that I love to use. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in there. Okay. Now, what you could also do is add some Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is so darn good. Add some pecorino or parmesan in there. Just shave some in there and you'd be all set. And off you go. Now what do you do with this? I would use pesto on pizza. I would use it on pasta. I would use it in one of my favorite, let me show you, um, things to do. And this is something I'm going to be doing in a day or so. Take a beautiful eggplant like that, slice it into rounds, nice thick rounds, 
Um, sprinkle them with a little bit of olive oil, roast them on a cookie sheet at 400 degrees, not until they're completely, you know, obliterated, but just nice and tender. Take them out, stack them, make a layer of eggplant, pesto, a slice of um, mozzarella, and then another slice, you know, just keep repeating those slices until you get little stacks, and that would be, and then put it back in the oven again. Um, in fact, what you could use is, hold on, Oops. remember I just moved to Breckenridge, so this is a new kitchen for me, so I don't really know what I'm doing. There you go. Use this, stack um, eggplant, pesto, mozzarella, eggplant, pesto, you know, just do a couple stacks like that. You can also, uh, instead of uh, mozzarella, you could substitute ricotta cheese. And that would be fabulous. So, as you can see, that took about a minute to make, and it takes me about five minutes to talk to you. And um, that's it. So, I feel better sharing my time with you, even when I'm sad. Hug your dog or cat or gerbil or rabbit or hedgehog tonight. Especially hug your kid your husband, your spouse, your wife, your significant other, I don't care. Hug your best friend. Give them a kiss. Tell them how much you love them. You can even hug Coco. And um, God bless you, and I'll see you again soon at Susanna Elizabeth's Kitchen. Goodbye.